Welcome to Trump Teachings. This series will teach you the fundamentals of good basic Hearthstone strategy. I'll be presenting nine strategy concepts, which I consider to be quite important throughout this series, and I'll be doing so by playing each of the nine classes and emphasizing one particular concept with each game. The concepts are the ones labeled on each class. I have built these decks with only basic cards, which means you'll find no common cards, certainly no rare cards, definitely no epic cards, and whoa, legendary! Nah, you won't need those. For these decks, all you need to do is start Hearthstone, and there are a few cards which you need to get to level 10 with each class to add in the class cards, but even if you aren't there yet on each series, I'll say what you can even start with if you're level 1. This design serves two purposes. First is so that those newer to the game uh, can have a good baseline deck to start with. All of these decks have a solid mana curve, which means that you're going to have something to play each turn. And some of the stronger cards that the game starts you with are included in the deck, as opposed to, say, Murloc Raider. Second is so that the cards are more basic, so that these concepts can be taught in a more straightforward way. So the nine primary concepts I'm going to showcase are Board control. For if you control the board and they have no minions, you're bound to win eventually. Mana efficiency. Making sure that you spend your mana efficiently and that you plan ahead so that you can spend your mana efficiently the next turn. Fearless tapping. Life is a resource, so use it to get more cards. Fearless Hitting. Life is a resource, so use it in order to gain a better board advantage. Favorable Trading. Get value with each minion attack and each of the spells you cast. Card Advantage. If the game lasts long enough, he who has played more cards generally wins. When to face. Sometimes it's best to hit your opponent directly, but when are those times? Weapons hold. The discipline to play a weapon and then not attack with it. The long game. How to gain an advantage for those games that do go on for a long time. Once you've mastered all these concepts, you will be a worthy opponent in no time. So, pay attention, class!